got my ancestry report back and uh, it, it's a real mix, mixed bag I'm surprised to say the least because uh, some stuff is very very accurate and some other stuff is utter and total BS let me explain from my mother's side we know the family history back to 1730 from then on it's uncertain that we talk about the same family what happened the monastery was uh, renting out a large farm called Beringhof and uh, it was rented out for periods of 15 years at the time and um, we know from 1730 on the family because Ferdinand Bering who managed to rent that Beringhof also made good money was a good uh, farmer a good um, businessman and he managed to make that much money that he could buy that farm off the monastery so from then on we know exactly the family history before that it was not clear who the people were who had that farm before that because people were named after the place they were living in so the families um, were called such and such from Beringhof and Ferdinand Bering uh, sort of established the family on that place and uh, here on the um, on the right I have that um, uh, place sorted out it's in Vicative well that is uh, the Rhineland in West Germany and that reflects very well with what we got on ancestry and uh, the amazing part of that is that the Beringhof is still in existence today it, it's now a horse breeding and horse training uh, facility and um, it is uh, amazing to see that uh, the whole thing is still active and still running as a bearing hof after all these hundreds of years. So let me explain why uh, we know quite a bit about our, um, our uh, family because somebody put a lot of work in and I believe it was the city archiver of the city of Val who uh, did all this work to um, do the history on the Bering family. Now that link to the United States, this is what I find really interesting and it's very very accurate. In the 1920s three of the Bering brothers uh, left Germany and went to the United States. Now my grandfather had 17 children three with the first wife and then 14 with a nanny and uh, it is amazing to see that uh, uh, that's all very well reflected uh, here in the ancestry DNA story uh, my mother was the youngest of the 14 children so she was the youngest of all of them she was born in 1914 her older brothers went to the States in 1920 and uh, there seemed to be a lot of family in the United States which I have now contact to actually that's one thing that is amazing my mother was not very much liked in the family because she had two children out of wedlock and in that family we were more Catholic than the Pope was just not happening and uh, if you did something like that you were more or less shunned so that's an interesting part of the family and that reflects well here in the uh, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium, that region. And because that was also a region where lots of wars went through in the Middle Ages, I was certain that uh, that DNA history would be a little bit of a mixed bag. So no surprises there. The surprise was how accurate the find was in the United States. So I'm very happy with that. Now, I predicted that I uh, would be about 25% Scandinavian from my father's side. And the 22% reflects that, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm 
good with that. Now, that I'm 48% British, that is utter and total BS. Now, there is the only connection to Britain our family has is that we were living in the British occupied zone after the Second World War. That's the only connection to Britain we have. Now, let me explain that. My father's family comes from an area around Neumünster, which is uh, sort of 40 kilometers east of Kiel, where my grandfather uh, was residing. But he came from Neumünster. He moved from Neumünster to Kiel. Now, we know a little bit about the, the family from my father. That goes down to about 1800. Now, the families from grandmother's side and grandfather's side, there were peasants, there were farm workers, and before 1800, in that time period, they were bonded to the landowners. So they were not free to move around and uh, to go anywhere. For them, a, a trip to Neumünster from their farm, that was like for us traveling around the world. And uh, you need to keep that in mind, that traveling in these ages were absolutely not happening. Now, I was thinking about where on earth did they get this Great Britain thing here? And I, I listened to um, quite a few um, uh, videos about ancestry and 23 and me and all that. And I was suspicious about, they always come up with this Britain thing. And, and if you're from Australia like I am and or America or wherever, they always claim you come from Britain. And I said, hey, that that's sounds a bit fishy, you know, and it is. Now, let me explain where the Britain, the Brits come from. You go to Wikipedia and you have a look at um, that whole thing, the Anglo-Saxons and so on, then it starts to make sense. Because Anglo-Saxons, let me have a, let me show you where that came from. Where the Angles come from here, this is where my father's family comes from. <laughs> and um, there were Frisians, Angles, Holstein, all that area there. So they moved to Great Britain. That, that they found ancestry in Great Britain, it's not a big surprise. But my family is definitely not from Great Britain. Yeah, they're from that area called Angles. And... Um, this is the, um, the area where we come from and uh, there is no way that this, uh, that my heritage has come from Great Britain. It comes from here and nowhere else. So that's why I'm a bit suspicious with this, um, with this uh, uh, result here that I'm from, from Great Britain. I mean, that is utter and total BS. Yeah. So um, I'm very disappointed. And I spoke to Ancestry about it, and they sent me pages of word salad, and uh, yeah, totally meaningless drivel. Yeah. That's what you expect from somebody who sits in an air-conditioned office and, and produce verbal diarrhea. That's all I can say to it. So um, my advice to you is, um, yeah, it might be accurate what they come up with, but yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Okay, so much for my ancestry, which is certainly not Britain. <laughs> okay, see you later.